Lord gave me this song and I just wrote it in 10 or 15 minutes. He said, now go sing it. He said, because you know I'm faithful. God is faithful to us, right?
and start giving God glory and honor. I'm just out here with him. In the anointing. In his presence. And I got to give it to him. Thank you, Pastor. Come here, young lady. Come here. Come here. Los Angeles. And he's going to tell us what he's doing up there. 
He came back because he's blown here just to get rejuvenated. Now he's going back. But we got to pay his way back. It's going to cost us 100 bucks. So we get to pay his way back. So while he's testifying, if anybody wants to help, just maybe come up and just put a little Amen. whatever it is right there, and we'll go from there. Uh, first, good honor to God and to my pastor. Uh, it's just so awesome coming back and just getting filled with love. Because I've been going through it, you know, it all sounds great. You know, hey, he went to Los Angeles, but when I got there, the, the, the roof was leaking. There was roaches and rats all throughout the property. We had people that smoked dope over the top of us. We had to just go out and fast and pray, and God is beginning to change that thing and giving us more outreaches and, and using us, like Frank says, just all to the glory of God. But, but what, I, what, really, what really stands out to me is... Being, he pastor says black to fry, but I got fish fried. When he told me about Matthew 4, 19, I'll follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. That turned my life upside down. That right there electrified me. And when you start going out and just pouring out, God just does something for you because he honors people who will go out to the poor. He honors you when you go out to the less fortunate. When you, He'll honor you when, you when you love people that people have casted away. And that's what I've done in my life. And, 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 and I had to follow my leader. And I, I, I can't say enough about how my life's been transformed, how he's given us purpose. I didn't do anything to, to ask for blessings. I didn't seek positions. I didn't seek titles. He said, get on the bus, and I just went and got on the bus. And, and, and the rest was just history. And it, when it was 110 degrees, we'd get on the bus. When Pastor Jim said, serve them people, we would, we would hand out water and pick up trash and empty garbages. And he said, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And in due time, you'll raise you up. And that's all that's happening. It's really, it's really like a law of gravity. If you drop something, it's going to fall. If you humble yourself, it's going to rise. It's just the law of God. It, and it stands like the, the law of gravity. So if anybody just wants to start rising, humble yourself. Oh, my God. I don't know why. We, mission, I know it doesn't seem like. It's going to work. I know it doesn't seem like, man, I come to church, I pray to God. I know you're not going to leave this place today and go home with a million dollars in a new apartment. But the blessing starts on the inside before it works its way to the outside. Before you get that house, before you get the job, before you get the wife, you get enriched in yourself. First, God puts the blessing on the inside, and then it works to the outside. That's the way this... Wait, we ain't done yet. Wait a minute, here's your hundred bucks. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Praise the Lord. Isn't he excited? Yes. You haven't been telling us what you've been doing. All you've been doing is preaching. Now, what are you going to do when you go back out there? Pastor, I'm doing the same thing I've been doing here, reaching the laws. But it's, it, California ain't no different than Arizona. People are lost and need Jesus Christ. And we've been in train and to go get them. That's all I've been doing. I've been, I just do what I see the Father do. That's all I'm doing. This ain't no ritual. This didn't just start yesterday. This mold has been set, and if there was another book in the Bible, and it would be called longevity, this would be your prophet. So all I'm saying is, I'm just doing what I've been trained to do. It's nothing miraculous. It's been tedious. It's been diligent. It's been willing to lay down your life. Yes, I said, God, if you take my life, just use me mildly while I'm here. And if they want to blow my head off, let them blow my head off with my mouth open with your word coming out of it. So that's all I'm doing, Pastor. We're going to some places where, where, uh, where darkness is, and I just let God be a light in those dark places. And, and God, you give me the love that they, they're not getting. I will pour it out to Heavenly Father. You put it in me, and I'll go pour it out. With no one. We'll go to the alleys. We'll go to the ditches. We'll go to the bridges. We'll go to the jails. I mean, that's what we're doing. And we'll go to them gang infested. They call them gang infested infestation like it's a deep disease but there's diseases in corporate executive suites and there's diseases in in in, 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 in on, on IBM boards and CEO the, the, the infestation is everywhere it's not just where you see a person with a gun or a pistol you can have an ink pen and a, and a notepad and be infested so all I'm just saying is uh, I thank God for it oh God I thank the Lord and then you know we're coming home Coming home, your yeah, Oakland is my biological home, but this is my, so I've been born, born again, right here on this holy ground right here. And um, and, and the way God is just really, he confirmed his word. And when I came over here, 
Um, I was on the bus and I met this guy out of Baltimore. He, you know, he was popping up at the mouth like he's a Christian, and, but he hasn't been in church. I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge him. But in his mind, he, he's popping up about, yeah, I'm a Christian, I, but he ain't been, you know, he didn't have a Bible, I lost, so I gave him one of mine. And, um, <laughs> but the thing was, he put me in my mind of Brian. I kept thinking about my, my boy Brian Musgrove. Brian, where you at? Brian. Brian Musgrove, are you in the building? Come here, man, run! Get on your feet, man, come on! We got to go! Listen, listen, listen. This is how God confirmed things and, 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 and it lets you know that you, when you're really walking in this field. I was on my way over here uh, on the bus, on back of Greyhound, just meditating, reading my word late at night. And man, he was on my heart, right? Then God said, Go get Brian. Go get Brian. Go get Brian. So I get there. I said, Pastor, can I take Brian with me? And, and Brian said, no, I ain't ready to go. I don't want to go. You know, he thought about it. He said, well, I'm not sure. And you know, something, but it all came down to him not going. So a few days go by, and I'm just going to tell the truth, Brian. And Brian knocked the guy, beat the guy up, and put some hands on him and everything. And now he has to go. And, uh, and yeah, now he has to go. So it's just like, I was here from God. It wasn't my own idea. Pastor knows I came to Pastor before Brian got in trouble. I can't say Pastor did right. Pastor, am I lying? Before it all happened, I can't can take Brian. Brian wasn't ready. Three days later, y'all Brian ready. So I'm just saying, Pastor, you know, and, 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 and I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna shut up. But our best church on the streets worse is what I'm trying to say. Church on the streets worse is better than some of these other. Ministry's back, so I'm just gonna put it out there just like that. So you just because you beat somebody up, don't worry, because uh, God is about to restore you and take these places that you never He's gonna elevate you when you humble you because this guy knows how to be humble. This guy encouraged we would be we go to a prayer mountain and we work out and prayer pastors already there praying for hours. And he would lean his chair for he'd rock on his chair. We all be just watching we go think back to what does. And so and then Brian started doing he said, because I wanted to learn how to pray longer too. And Brian said, hey, he says, oh, just try to leave him in your chair like Pastor Walter. You don't know this, but yeah, we copy all your little <laughs> quickie dicks, right? <laughs> we need some two bits, right? So anyway, Brian just starts showing me how to rock in the chair and relax a little bit so I can just stay down there longer. And, and he encouraged my prayer life. And I've seen every cue of my roommate, too, and every little thing that, he could, that, that would trouble him, he would take it to God in prayer. Any under, misunderstanding, he'd take it to God in prayer. Any bad idea, any bad thing, anyway. Okay. <laughs> <Very popular>. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to disciple you, so you don't have to learn how to talk. <laughs> I just want to be a servant right now, that's it. Um, I feel like God has called me to go out there. That's... Yeah, I'm just going to bring everything to God. You know? you know what he's going to do? He's going to train you to fight. Man. And then those blessed trips out there, he's going to... You're going you're gonna to have to learn how to pray to fight. <laughs> I'll fight it's not against flesh and blood, but spiritual principalities. There you you know, are. I, think he's, I think he's white if I see that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. Wait, let's pray for him. Amen. Heavenly Father, it is God. It is so neat. There's no question. You're in this thing. And all we want to do is your will, not our will. And this is this is divinely ordained of you, no question. So we just we just pray for Brian and God, we just pray for Zoe. Let him go out there, Lord, and let the power of God just fall through them and use them to minister. Establish your kingdom. And God, when the time comes for other people that graduate here to want to go out there, you're going to put in their heart also. We pray you just raise him up. And I believe he's going to be on TBN because you've given him talent. And that's one of the things. And it's for your glory. And that's one of the things, God, that you can use just to get people excited about the streets. So have your way, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a good praise, Lord. No street. I ain't know there were people. And if you try to be anything else, you ain't good, it ain't gonna work. If you try to be sophisticated, get on your well, you speak preaching too. Get on your your coat and pie and everything and think you're something. You ain't, you're still people. Because you know, if you can change on the outside, but only God can change on the inside. And we're a work in progress. How many know that? I want you to understand that. We are a work in progress. And God is working in us. 
And some of the very, very best people, the very best of us, we have our struggles. And we slip and fall. And I'll tell you something, we got a man of God here this morning that had just a little, little slip and fall. Danny, come up here and share. somebody else, and you know, you that. <laughs> but you know what? That's how God has a way of showing up, because four years ago, I was doing what Brian did, putting my hands on people. Last Monday, the anger is still there, but by the grace of God, I did not put my hands on no one, even though I was trying hard to get him to say something to do it. I'm not going to lie, okay? Because I am very straight up and honest. I, and I believe in faithfulness and loyalty and serving under this man. And my apologies to everyone here for <clears throat> the situation that I'm in. But you know what? Um, I try to lead by example, and I wasn't a good example last week, and I know that I deserve this consequence because where much is given, much is required. Amen. And you know what? If it's God's will, then it's God's will. And I know that I might be in the storm right now, which believe me, I am. But all storms end. Okay? And, and one thing that I, even though whatever I think and, and in my own mind or voice out to pass the wall, you know, uh, an example in this area for me has been Pastor Gator, okay? For him to stand up and voice that he made a mistake and keep going and fight the good fight of faith and he's still here. So, like Zoe said, even the worst here are the best out there. Amen! And, and, uh, all I can do is just follow my heart, ask the Lord to continue to lead me, give me strength, Trust in Him and wait on Him because I need my strength for you right now. I thank you for, for all the prayers. It's been a struggle. I don't use excuses. But when people tell you you're a horse, you're a horse, you're a horse, you better go find a barn. <laughs> people have been telling me it's the medication, the medication, and my stubbornness is no, 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 no. So maybe I got to look at that. And I'm not looking for excuses. But, you know, it wasn't right what I did the other day. And what I did is I displayed a very deep, deep, passionate anger towards another, I gotta believe, the man of God. And not only that, I did it in Pastor Wall's office, which was totally out of line. So I deserve what I got. So nobody be angry at him or anyone else. And forgive me, but I got coming what I got coming. And wherever, wherever this wave ends, it's going to end. Amen. Amen. Okay? And if it's God's will, Hallelujah. I believe that. Okay. And I've had problems with anger ever since I got here. And five and a half years later, it's still there. I hate it just like I've learned to hate heroin. But I just, I try to. I pray the Lord to help me with this. But for some reason, it's still there. But I have a passion for this ministry. And I know God called me to be here. Amen. So no matter what my head's telling me, it's contrary to what my heart's telling me. So that's all I can say. I apologize, Pastor Walt. I apologize, congregation. And, you know, we're going to be fine. Amen. Be fine. Amen. Come on, let's pray for Everybody wants to come up and lay hands on someone else. 
this truly is a man of God. Truly, truly, truly he is. And he's just going through something that we're all going through, but and he's able to trust God to it. Heavenly Father, we just pray, Lord. He said, go to all the world and preach the gospel. He said, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And God, no matter what it is, it comes against us. He said, it can't hurt us. So we pray for Danny. We just pray the power of God would rest upon him, God, and whatever it is inside of him that's causing this anger, we just pray, God, that you just touch him, heal him, and if it takes deliverance, God, we just pray that you deliver him. Let the power of God just truly, truly, truly rest upon him. And God, just put a hope in him like he's never had before. And we truly thank you, God, for a man that's willing to yield.